Hey guys, it's Luke here and welcome back to another video. You join me today on a bit of an adventure really. Today we're doing something very different, something which I believe, quote me if I'm wrong, has never been done before in an M140i. Um, now, I'm currently traveling west down to Devon for the weekend. Chloe is next to me. I've dragged her along on this trip. I don't really think she's that happy to be uh, coming with me, purely because of the weather. The weather is awful. We probably could have picked uh, a nicer weekend. It's going to be stormy all weekend, um, which is not ideal for what we will be doing. Now, it is currently 10 to 5 in the afternoon. Um, now, seeing as it is getting pretty dark in the evenings, especially with all these rain clouds around, I'm hoping it's going to be still light by the time I reach my destination, because I'd like to show you around the whole situation uh, and the car in its current state. It looks pretty cool, so I'm really excited to show you. Um, so I'm going to be quite vague in this kind of segment because I'm hoping that I can show you properly when we arrive. Uh, we've got about two hours to go. It's been about a three hour journey in total uh, and the weather's just been awful and it's going to carry on being awful for the whole weekend. Um, but it's going to be an experience. It's going to be fun, I hope. Um, and uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's going to be, well, hopefully it's going to make for a good video as well. But um, like I said, we've got about two hours journey to go. We're on the A303 at the moment. Um, I mean, A303 is normally pretty busy heading down to Devon, but seeing as the weather is so horrible, I think it should be relatively simple and straightforward. So we will carry on our journey. I will catch up with you later on, hopefully when it's not dark, and I can show you the M140i looking a little bit different. <laughs> Okay, so I am very conscious that it is getting very dark, even though it looks pretty light on this camera, it's actually really, really dark. Um, that's the wonders of, well, manual focus and manual exposure and all that kind of fancy stuff. But I pulled over to show you, well, what the car looks like really. And I'm gonna spin this around and present to you the camper. <laughs> that's right, I have put a tent on the roof of my M140i, I mean, how good does that look, right? It looks pretty cool. So I've been running the roof bars, which are OEM BMW roof bars, which you can see up there. I've been running them for about a week or so, just getting used to it, getting used to um, what the car is like with them on, uh, making sure they're all uh, correctly working and bits and bobs like that before I loaded the tent box classic onto the roof. So I have partnered up with tent box uh, to kind of bring you a series of videos. I mean, it wasn't what our original plan was. This was meant to be going uh, around the highlands of Scotland back in August, but of course I had to cancel that. I couldn't wait until next spring when I have actually planned to do another trip, uh, or my first trip up uh, to the North Coast 500. I thought I couldn't wait till then, so I've picked possibly the worst weather um, to go and test it out down in Devon. I'm actually, uh, well, just crossed the border, I suppose you could say, going into Devon. It's not really much of a border, um, but I've kind of, well, yeah, I've arrived in Devon. I'm on Devon soil. Um, I'm still about half an hour away from my destination, but it's that time of the day where it's just getting dark very, very quickly. But just a quick walk around of this. It's a gloss black uh, tent box, which is cool. Obviously goes in with the theme of the car and just makes the car look so, so cool. I mean, it's so, obscure that it works like <laughs> you get like i don't know as a stage 2 m 40 r you don't expect to see it with roof bars and a big old tent on the roof but here it is the tent box now when we do arrive it is going to be dark but i am going to show you um what it's like to set up it's really really easy basically there's like four catches two of them uh, on the back two of them on the front and then it's on gas struts and basically pops up and then we've got little catches there for the ladder uh, which is stowed inside and then there we go that's it but i'll get uh, more into detail about the whole thing later on but this is well the temporary new look of the m140i i think it looks mega and i wanted to show you before it got dark because i mean well the first time i show you if it was in the dark you wouldn't get a good idea about it and yeah it's awesome 
I'm pretty sure it's a, a world's first with an M140. Of course, putting a roof tent on your car is not a first, but it is for one of these, and definitely a first for me. It's something completely different, which is why I really wanted to do it. Um, it's just so different, unique, and well, I thought initially that it would be a lot of fun, but as you probably see, the camera is shaking because <laughs> it is so cold out here. <laughs> it's absolutely freezing. But anyway, let's carry on with the rest of the journey. And when we arrive, we can get this thing set up and try and warm ourselves up a bit because it's going to be a, a pretty rough <laughs> weekend, I think, weather-wise. Uh, but yeah, let's crack on, and um, I shall catch up with you in a moment. Okay, I now have some help uh, of the full beams of another car. Um, I'm actually here with my family, so uh, that's where that has all come from. So, um, basically what we've got to do, like I said earlier, we've got four catches, two on this side and two at the back, uh, which basically um, lock this uh, upper section in place. It's actually just started throwing it down, which is not ideal, and I have a GoPro in my hand, which again, is not ideal. So, basically got to go around and unfasten all of these. Trust me to do all this in a store. Right, around here, we've got two more. If I can see them. Okay, there we go. Now, basically, the whole top is mounted on gas struts. So theoretically, I should just be able to do that. <laughs> Let all the water run off for a sec. And then the other side is the same. And there we go. Now this bit here, I don't know if you can see this bit, is like the waterproof, uh, almost like a bit of a gutter, really. So you fold that all the way down so the water will just flow off. I'm actually gonna close that because it's like sideways rain at the moment, so that's not ideal. Oh, what am I doing? That's fine like that. So yeah, basically just make sure all this is... Oh no! My window's open! Oh. But basically, yeah, because it's got to get the, the whole gutter unraveled so all the water can just run off. And then we've got to go inside, grab the ladder. It can be fixed on either side. I don't even see this from this angle. Got two little clips or attachments there. And the same on that side. But that is it set up. I mean, that took me, what, like 30 seconds? <laughs> awesome. Anyway, I need to fasten this all up. We'll get all, uh, all our stuff sorted, probably have some dinner, and then go to bed. Um, and hopefully, we won't blow away. <laughs> Good morning! Um, the weather today is equally as awful as what it was yesterday. Let's see if I can get this door open quickly. There we go. However, it is so cosy in here, honestly. We've got little fairy lights. I haven't shown you in here, actually. And maybe when the weather kind of improves, if it improves, I'll be able to show you properly. But I have successfully spent a night above my car. I mean, it's just weird. What was really bizarre, actually, is because I have my car keys up here. And when I went to bed, I locked my car and you can hear the car lock <laughs> just directly underneath you. But yeah, the weather's, weather's not great. There's a lot of water on the lens as I can, uh, I can see from here. But uh, what an experience, huh? What an experience. It wasn't initially what my plan was, uh, weather-wise and location-wise, but we've done it. Um, and we've still got another night here. We've still got a lot of exploring to do. Uh, we're near Barnstable in North Devon at the moment. Um, but yeah, we've, uh, we've spent a night above my car. <laughs> Mental. Anyway, I need to get all ready and then uh, we'll go out exploring, see if I can get out of this very boggy and wet field, which I think is going to be quite fun.
to bottom out. And there we go. I was honestly surprised that we didn't get stuck in that field. <laughs> so we're on the move. We had the tent on the roof again, all packed up. Um, we're going to head to the beach. Is that, that's a silly idea. That's a really silly idea. Going camping during the storm was a bit of a silly idea, but here we are. Yeah, you've got a good point there. Um, now, for the whole of the trip yesterday, we spent all our time in comfort mode. Obviously, with this, we're limited to 70 miles an hour or 120 kilometers an hour. Um, so it means I was just cruising down and I was kind of missing a little bit of, well, pops and bangs and nice acceleration. So that's what I'm doing now, basically. <laughs> so the weather has got no better, um, which is ideal. <laughs> really not ideal, really not ideal. But our spirits are high. I'm glad that we survived. Um, it, to be honest, this is like, it's so out of my comfort zone to do this. I mean, it, it's not something which, um, oh, big flood, big flood. What was I saying? Um, it's not something which is really commonly done. It's n nothing which any of my friends have ever done before. So it's something completely out of my comfort zone. Um, but I'm glad it's all, all kind of paid off really. Um, and uh, hopefully we'll have a lot more adventures with the 10 box uh, in due course, especially next year. I'm talking Scotland, maybe Goodwood Festival of Speed, maybe like just camp out for the whole weekend there. That would be really cool. Maybe a bit of Germany. German? No, I'm not going to Germany and I'm not going on the autobahn to, to stay at 120 kilometers an hour. <laughs> I've got it. <laughs> so Chloe is with me. I don't know if I mentioned that uh, yesterday, um, but yeah, I've, I've dragged her along. Are you enjoying it? Yeah. She nodded, <laughs> I think. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're heading to the beach now. Um, it'll probably be really quiet, which will be nice. Um, but yeah, tent is on the roof. We are now um, moving mobile hotel. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> it needs to <Airbnb>. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> Even though I have probably picked one of the worst weekends of the year to go camping, I am so glad that I finally got the tent box out and gone on an adventure. This is officially my first ever tent box adventure. I still have one more night, but I feel that the video would probably drag on a little bit if it were to go um, that far. Now we are overlooking Saunton Sands, which is uh, a location which I've been coming for years with my family. It's the first time I brought the M140i down here. I think the last time I came down here was with um, my Audi A1, which was years ago. Um, but yeah, chips are in hand. I'm getting very wet, some funny looks by the people passing by, but with the thing on the roof, it looks so, so good, especially because it's absolutely filthy as well. Um, but yeah, that is gonna wrap things up from me today. And a big thank you goes to the guys over at Tempbox for understanding my vision for this little project. It's been a pleasure to work with them and I will leave all the links down below for you guys to go and check out more about the Tempbox range. If you've got any questions, then by all means, let me know down in the comments. I'm now a Tempbox geek. I feel like I'm now very experienced having gone on one adventure. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, by all means, let me know down in the comments if you've got any questions, if you're considering getting one or anything like that. And of course, there will be links down in the description. But I'm gonna finish off my chips and I'm gonna go and uh, well, sit in there and warm up a bit because it's absolutely freezing up here. But anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, please make sure you leave a like and make sure to subscribe for all the adventures still to come. <laughs>